Hi there, my name is Damien, and in today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can convert a CSV to Excel file using Power Automate. So we're going to look at Office Scripts today. I'm going to show you how you can convert not only Windows CSV files, but also Unix and Mac file encodings using this one easy quick solution. So if you haven't used Office Scripts before, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to build this step by step. And before you know it, you'll be converting those CSVs into Excel files and also as an added bonus at an Excel table for you to use later on in your cloud flow. So without further ado, let's jump into my demonstration. So just to set the scene, I've got three different CSV files here that I'll quickly look at. And it's just to demonstrate that we do have different file encodings. So we can see at the bottom right here, we have a Unix file encoding. Again, if we look at this particular file, we have a Macintosh file encoding. And if we look at this one here, we've got a Windows file encoding. So to the human eye, it just looks like another return line, but the actual file encoding itself, the return line is either represented here by the hex value 0A, or if we look at uh, this particular file here, a 0D, or if we look at this final example, a 0D, 0A. So today we are going to use a solution that is already available on the internet. So this is something that the Microsoft team have already put together. They have the sample code, but this sample code will only handle the Windows file encoding as things stand. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you, and then we're going to extend it further so that we can handle those other file types too. So I've highlighted the code. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And the first thing that I need to do is to actually build my Excel script. So if you haven't done that before, we can actually open up Excel using excel.new, and that'll launch a new workbook in our OneDrive. Now, in order for us to build this script, we need to go into the Automate tab, and this is where you find all the, the details regarding Office scripts. We're going to go into All Scripts, and then we're going to create a new script. And so that new script, we're going to call convert CSV. And then using that script that I've copied from the website, I'm simply going to highlight the existing function we have there and overwrite it with a control and V. So we now have our pre-built script saved into Office Scripts. And I'll go ahead there and just click on Save Script. So just waiting for that to save, that's all done. And I'm gonna go into my OneDrive and just show you now that I have those three files that I had loaded up earlier in my Notepad Plus of the three different file encodings. So what we're gonna do now is into Power Automate, we're going to create a flow. And the first thing I want to do is I want to list those files that are in that particular folder. So we're just gonna list files and folder and just quickly navigate to that folder that we had there, which is called CSV. Now, in order for this script to work, one of the requirements is that it has a blank or empty Excel file per file that we want to create an Excel file for. Uh, and I've previously covered how to do this using a clever trick where you put the contents of an existing file into a compose action. So I'll, I'll share that link above. Um, and that will make a bit more sense maybe. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go into that flow that I demonstrate in my other video, and I'm gonna do a copy to clipboard, and back into my flow here, and into my clipboard, and just paste. And so that gives me the contents of a blank Excel file. So what we're doing here is we're listing all the files in this CSV folder in OneDrive, and then we are getting the file content of a blank Excel file. So the next step that we want to do is, of course, we want to create a file. And we want to create a file for each of those CSVs that are in that location. Now, I'm going to stick with the same path as before. We'll go with the CSV folder. When it comes to the file name, I'm going to use the file name without the extension um, for the existing CSV. And you'll notice that it puts it immediately into an apply to each because it realizes that we're returning some values from this list files, multiple values in, in an array. And the extension for this is obviously going to be Excel. So it's XLSX because we're now trying to create a blank Excel file 
for each of these CSVs that we want to convert. Now the file content is based on this compose action that I've created. And like I say, I've covered that in, in a video on how to do it. The, the guide that the Office Scripts team give you shows you how to get the file content from an existing file, um, but there are pros and cons of doing that. And then once we've created that file, we then need to run our Office Script. And so typing in run script, we can see the action there and the location is going to be based on OneDrive. The document library is OneDrive and then the file is based on the ID of this particular create file because we want to populate this new Excel file that we've created. So we can see there at the bottom right we have ID. And then the script that we're wanting to run is this brand new script that we've created, which we've called convert CSV. And that will look for a single parameter, which is the content of the CSV. So what we're looking to do here, if we search for content, he says confidently. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to return anything because I haven't yet got the content. So I need to insert uh, an action and do get file content. So prior to the, the running a script, we need to get the file content. Again, I'm going to insert the ID, not of the create file, but of course of the list files, because we're wanting to get the file content of the CSV, not the Excel file. And now that we have that action completed, we can go into our run script and get the file content, which is what I was looking for earlier. So there we go. There's the get file content. That's much better. So if I go ahead and hit save, I'll quickly explain the logic for you again. So we're listing all the files, all the CSV files that are in the folder. We're using this little trick here that I cover in another video where we have the file content of an empty Excel file because we want to create a brand new Excel file for each of these CSVs. Then we're looping through each of these CSVs by creating a file, which is a blank Excel file based on that file content above. We're getting the file content of that CSV, which is based on the ID from our list files in the folder. And then we're simply running that script that the Microsoft team have already put together for us based on the ID of the file and the file content from above here, which is the CSV file content. So what I'm going to do now is put it into test mode, run it manually, and let it work its magic. And so the, the expected output from this is going to be three separate Excel files with those CSVs nicely formatted into their respective rows and columns. Now if I just jump across into my OneDrive folder, I'm just going to quickly do a refresh. You can see we have got one, two, and we're waiting for the last one to arrive. Three has arrived. I'll just see if it's completed yet. There we go, it's completed. So if we go into the Windows one, first of all, because I'm confident this is going to work. So we can see there, we now have the contents of our CSV file into Excel. Now, if I go into the Mac encoded one, unfortunately, we have it all on a single row. And that's because of this file encoding. And similarly, if I go into the Unix one, again, we have it all on a single row. So what do we need to do? We need to extend that script that we have. So jumping back onto the, the script, um, I'm actually going to bring up my Notepad Plus because I, I tried this earlier on. And uh, before in the script, we have this line that says, uh, let the rows equal to um, a split on that CSV based on the forward slash R forward slash N, which is our hex equivalent of 0D, 0A. Now we know that we have other file type uh, encodings, which is uh, the slash N or the slash R. So I'm actually going to uh, implement this if statement here, which will search for these strings within the CSV text. And if they exist, we'll split on those respective values. So I'm going to copy this piece of text. And again, I can include that in my description when I put together the or upload the video. 
and we're going to jump back into our code here and we're going to look for that particular line. So we can see there, let rows equal CSV split. So I'm going to paste that in over there. And uh, the other feature that I'm going to add is the ability to create a table off the back of this script running. So as if by magic, if I just bring this down here, I have another bit of code for my Office script. And it's simply going to define the selected sheet that we have open. And then it's going to create a new table that is called new table in Excel. So again, I'm going to copy that code. Again, I'll include it in the description. And I'm just going to go to the very end of my code here. And you can see the Microsoft team have added a comment. You can add any formatting or table creation. I'm going to paste that in. And we're going to go ahead and save that. Now, just to, if I get back into the right flow, just to make sure that we don't have a, a conflict with the file name, I'm just going to add a one at the end of the, the file. Um, just quickly hit save. And uh, we will go ahead and test that. And so what we're expecting now is when we open each of those different file types, rather than the data all being on a single row for those different uh, file encodings, they should now all be in their respective columns and rows. And not only that, we will have a table that we can use potentially later on in our cloud flow. Good, that worked well. So, uh, oh, I can see why it didn't work. I haven't got a filter on the file type. So, we can see that for three of the files, this has worked, um, but for the other three, it has failed. And the reason for that is I have still have got those original files in the folder. So we'll have tried to run that script on the Excel files. So it's not failed as such. It's just that I should have potentially had a filter there on the file extension. So we can see we have the Unix uh, LF1 and if we go ahead and open that file. We now have all that data in a nicely formatted table. If I go into the uh, Macintosh one here, which has the one at the end, again you can see all our data is nicely formatted in a table. Again, these are quote encapsulated uh, values, but that's the, the, the way it was presented in the CSV file. And then finally, the, the Windows one, which uh, we'd already seen converted into the columns and, and rows, but also it is now in a nice table. So finally, if I was wanting to create a brand new flow and I wanted to just demonstrate that I can query those particular files that we've created uh, based on there being a table, I'm going to quickly just go and use get row uh, from our table go for get rows list rows there we go and the location of our file is in onedrive the document library again is onedrive i'm just going to select the file and we're going to go back up to my csv folder we'll pick this uh, unix one that has the lf1 at the end of it and then the table we're looking to query is our new table in Excel. So that's all based on that little bit of script that I added um, at the bottom. And if we just go ahead and save that, and we'll go with a quick test. And if we have a quick look at the output, we can see that our once CSV file has now become an Excel table and we now have that JSON output that we could use as part of our, our queries again later on in our cloud flows. So I hope that's of use. I hope you've learned how to use Office Scripts, how to build an Office Script, how to extend that Office Script and uh, handle the different file types in order to encode or convert from CSV to Excel. Thanks again for watching, and uh, if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe, and see you again soon. Cheers, bye.